how's it going? It's Uncle Josh. We're back on Uncle Josh Gaming. We're gonna play some more Elite. Pick up where we left off yesterday. I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm ready to hop back into the pilot seat of my uh, Cobra Mark III. I added a few more uh, OXZ slash OX uh, P's. So on the uh, ship manifest page on the F5 screen, I've got uh, information about uh, my trade rank and my explorer rank. So, we're back to being broke, so now we need to find a, a new destination to unload our wares. Lave is a rich agricultural. The description for Lave is right there. So I think that's a good destination. I think we're gonna head there. Let's have a look at some of these uh, bulletin board missions. Uh, collect data cache. Asteroid removal. There's 17 asteroids, but I don't really have the gear to take these on, I don't think. Cargo transport contracts. Parcel deliveries. Passenger transport contracts. Oh yeah, my unread email. Ah, uh, Xenon Industries is proud to welcome you to your new inbox. We hope you enjoy the facilities this system provides. Xenon Industries have been working behind the scenes for many years, providing message facilities to spacers from all walks of life. However, it was only after Galcop Regulation 3827B Subsection A was passed that we have been allowed to provide a fully functional email system to any space-going vessel. Even with this regulation, email facilities are only operational while dockside, as Galcop regulations make it clear that emailing while flying is a serious offense. Despite this, we know you will love all the benefits a good client, good email client can provide. And we believe we have all of this and more. Thank you for using Xenon Industries email system. We trust it will perform flawlessly for you for years to come. Alright, let's close and delete that one. New pilot registration. Uh, it's giving me all my little info for the my flight registration. Oh, the information about the the ship that I have that was purchased from Lave. Yeah, only has a front pulse laser. Cargo capacity, 20 tons. So that's good to know. Okay, that's a transfer of ownership message. The new edict from Her Imperial Majesty's Bureau of Records caught more than a few station administrators on the hop. 
many only just making the deadline. We are pleased to say that Snoopers, at Snoopers, we were ahead of the game as usual. The beacon on our array in Maw Mile was activated a full standard week earlier than required. Look out for the media circus next time you are in the neighborhood. Why is this taking so long for Golkov to make this basic navigational information available to the spacefaring community? What have they been hiding all these years? Could there be shady operators who have ignored the directive? The truth is, we don't know. New casino is hot stuff. A new Hoopy Casino opened up in orbit around Inimbi and within 12 standard hours was destroyed by an pl internal plasma explosion. Foul play is suspected. A Hoopy sp spokesman was reasonably upbeat. It was a gamble opening up here. We knew that. This time the gamble didn't work, but we'll be back. Okay. So I'm going to get out of the way. We've got our destination locked and we're going back to Lave, so... Get a little bit away from the station and then kind of turn like so. And we'll put a little, uh, put a little distance here between the ship and the station. Our space countdown commenced. Link established. Transfer of data is complete. Alright, we've made it back to leave. That was a good little milk run. We're just gonna make our approach to where the station is. We're mass locked right now. I'm just activating the MFDs. Now we can engage the hyperspace. Mass locked. Uh, we're mass locked. All right. Just turn the MFD off.
Alright. So now we just... Head towards... ID computer activated. Head towards the station. Mass locked. Those are police vessels, I think, so... ID computer activated. This can get uh, kind of boring. So, try to have something close by. Maybe a drink or something. Cup of tea, a cup of uh, coffee, maybe. Soft drink, who knows? Anything. Something to pass the time while you're. Sitting in your uh, cockpit, not much going on, just slowly making your way towards your station. It's a slow process, but you know if you want uh, an iron ass, which is what they call it in the elite, in the classic elite, if. Uh, you were fully loaded and fully armed. Your ship was iron ass. ID computer activated. I think that's our uh, station buoy. I think. Uh, just below the reticle, I see uh, someone jump to witch space. That's what the blue circle is. It's a. Uh, a remnant of uh, a jump to witch space. And I love this um, uh, dangerous HUD. It gives it that uh, elite dangerous look. Kind of pretties, uh, it pretties the UI, uh, the user interface a little bit. So what you see is a little bit fancier looking. So you kind of feel like you're in a ship and not just looking through, uh, straight glass. Uh, the MFD that's currently in use is uh, the useful MFDs, so it'll give little uh, information about what you're carrying, uh, market for the ship's cargo. That may be because of Market Observer, I don't know. I 
I like uh, how they have the, the current date, uh, the start date of the game was March 22nd, 3142. I guess canonically that's when uh, the original Elite started. ID locked. And then you get into the Frontier games, which take place in like, 3200. And then Elite Dangerous takes place in uh, the 3300s. That's if you want to try to combine all the, uh, all the lore from all the games, I guess. So much has been changed. ID locked. Oh, nope. I don't have clearance. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I got ahead of myself, started heading towards the mail slot before I had clearance. Good thing I had clearance. <laughs> and you do your little twist and turn. And be mindful of your speed as you're approaching the slot. Don't want to go too fast. like that. Okay, so we can sell some of those here in Lave. But I think we can do better we might have to go to a cheaper place, a cheaper agricultural. This is rich, rich agriculture. I'm bored. So we'll buy fuel. Could try read quat. It's anarchy for government, so I don't know. Save the game though. Could be a, a short trip to read quat. So we'll, we'll we'll go there. Jump to read quat. Viper space countdown commenced. Link established. Transfer of data is complete. Alright, so we're in the read quat. Let's engage the hyper speed. Mass locked. Uh oh. There's a ship.
There's another ship. Uh-oh. Oh! I just hope they don't turn hostile. They might start wanting what I got. Oh, they're going after the adder. Sorry, adder. I'm not equipped to really go and deal with these guys. They outnumber me. Oh, there they go. They're heading downward. I don't know if they're coming after me or not, but I got to keep my wits about me. Turn the damn FD off. Go to hyper speed. Uh oh! I got, I got, I, I can't do it. Is it? I have nothing. I'm gonna have to try to outrun them. Uh oh! <coughs> Toasty toasty, I'm... I ain't gonna make it. I gotta get out of here. Okay, so that didn't, uh, that didn't work. Read quat is not a good speed, uh, place to go. But, I could try Rayorti. It's poor agricultural, but it's a dictatorship, so. We'll see. And I'll turn the ship. Space and we're at Riorti. 
cockpit. Now we're gonna hyper speed towards the planet. Mass locked. The ships. A mass lock. Locked. Don't see it, must be way too high. Mass locked. Mass locked. Mass locked. Oh, come on. So even if I want to, I don't have, uh, I can't jump out of here. I don't have enough fuel. That's cool looking. Yeah, this is a good sector to buy food and textiles. While I'm uh, traveling, I can think about where I'm going to unload my wares. I could attempt going up here, but I might be better off going down here. Play it safe. Go back to a sec uh, system that we already know. Or planet that we already know. It's 
a lot of uh, asteroids. Mass locked. ID computer activated. ID computer activated. Last lot. Mass locked. ID computer activated. Mass locked. Mass locked. ID computer activated. ID locked. Station buoy. Vogon poetry. Just keep on until we get closer to this uh, station buoy. We're just about there. We've come to a stop. ID locked. And we're locked on the Vogon Poetry Station. Uh, let's hold for clearance. Might be the police vessel. It doesn't look very busy hey, here. Oh, it's a Moray star boat that's trying to dock. There's the ship, but... Yeah, 
Mr. Lasso okay with my mother? There, I got, uh, authorization to dock. Okay, so we'll load up on food. Now we've got fuel. So we want to take the food to an industrial, so we can either go to Leasty or Relays. It's a communist, average industrial. The only one within jump range. Usaza? That's an anarchy system. Might not be a safe place. I would need to go to Lave and then go to Leasty to get back there. So we'll we'll try going here, but we're gonna save the game. Out of fuel. Mass locked. If I get attacked here, I'm probably done. Controller died. Hmm. See how this will work.
Well, I still have the keyboard. <laughs> Locked. <gasps> I don't want to shoot the planet. <laughs> Mass locked. Just the wrong time. No target system specified. Mass locked. A lot of ships. So they're on my uh, on my port side, but they're high up. And I can't see them. Just wish they'd hurry up though and get out of range so I can hyperspeed to the station. There we go. Mass lock. Ah, there's another ship in range. Ships. Mass locked. See them on my starboard side. And see their uh, drive tails or drive trails. Sorry. All right, there's one out of range. Two. There's three. There's four. There's hyperspeed. Mass launch. Ah. There's 
four of them on the port side. And we're moving towards the aft if they don't make a Oh, they're not going for me. They're going for someone else. Oh, now they're going for me. Mass locked. My only chance is to try to outrun them. They're behind me, but I don't... Uh, they're behind and below. Still coming. Got to get to a station. Starting to get intense. Mass locked. Still back there, but I don't see any shots being fired at me.
got 20 tons of food, so they're gonna want it. That's why they're after me. They want their cut. But I'm not giving it to them. They can take it from my, to my cold dead fingers. Middle guy caught up. I saw a beam shoot at me. Yeah, I saw a beam. I didn't think my controller was gonna die, I'd have uh, made an attempt, but I don't know. have everything mapped on my controller. I mean, I could try, but...
hands. Oh! We're in range of the stage shed. We're coming into range of the station. I gotta figure out what my uh, controls are. <laughs> ID computer activated. ID locked. Sidewinder. I could probably take it out. I'd have to worry about the other ship. <laughs> I got sniped and turned around. Cardinal Jettison. Cardinal Jet Cardinal Jettison. I didn't want to do it, but I guess I had to. They were gonna. They're gonna smoke me. Let's 
So I lost four. I'm gonna call it the, uh, the cost of doing business. Which is why this game is very difficult. And you need to be well armed. You never know when a pirate might decide to plunder. ID computer activated. ID computer activated. I don't want to eject food. ID computer activated. ID computer activated. ID computer activated. ID computer activated. ID locked. Alright, so we're stationed buoy locked. Just get closer to it and then request docking permission. Oh. ID locked. Alright. 
ID marked. And we just wait it out. So we were third in the queue, so. We just gotta keep waiting, keep holding position. Now, no, I'm not going to hold it. Now, I'm feeling the fifth flash. The boss will go to see the back of me. This is a, a busy space, I guess. Authorization. So we made a little bit of a profit. We're now at 202 credits. Item board. So we'll buy uh, some fuel. Have a look at some of the items that are available. Hmm. Okay. So this is what you have to look forward to is working up 
saving up the cash, buying the equipment, exploring. So we're here on a tedious, a tedious place. Average industrial communist, tech level 11. But I think we're gonna save the game. I think we're gonna end things here for today. Made some, uh, made some pretty good progress, I think. All right, so this was uh, part two of Let's Play Elite with Uncle Josh here on Uncle Josh Gaming. See you in the next video, Commanders.